Hey guys, John here, and welcome back to NASCAR 06. Alright, so, I'm going to be getting back into this bit here, and what do we have? Oh, that's right, I'm going to be skipping this truck race, which is dangerous, but I'm doing it in order to do as good as we possibly can in the points for Nationwide. So let's go ahead and do the Nationwide qualifying. I do find it funny how we've won 11 races and yet we have no chance at winning the championship. <laughs> uh, just because of how bad the start was to the year. But oh well. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and give this a go. All right, that's the pole. See if we can make that time any better. Car's a little free. Which I'm worried about for the long run, so we might want to work on that just a little bit. But it's fast. It's definitely fast. Which makes me happy. Yep, bettered that time. It's also a good sign. Alright. Wow, it was Boyer who had the pole, too. That's pretty funny. Um, Alright, so let's see. Up this by one. And... Let's add half around a wedge. And I think we're going to be good there. Alright, onward to the race. Okay, here we go. Couldn't help myself. <laughs> I had to give him a little bump. Just to get things started. Cost him some spots, why not? Every little bit helps, right? There's no way I can have him lose 290 something points before the end of the season, though. Even if I'm rough with him. And I, and I really don't want to... I really don't want to cheat the system and have my teammates take him out and stuff like that. It's, eh. I would just like to end this season, which was a mess with all the contract glitch and all that stuff, end it in the top three in points. I think that would be really cool. And head into the next season with the. Uh, Practically guaranteed. Ah, oh, God. Shot at the championship. I really need to not clip the apron, though, because that was really not good. <laughs> As he does it again. <laughs> uh, you might notice I'm not doing face cam this time around. And the uh, reason for that is... If you've seen my channel updates, I'm kind of easing myself back into things and uh, doing the, uh, the the face cam with the green screen and all that. It takes some setup and it also takes um, a certain amount of energy I need to have to at least not look like a corpse sitting in front of a camera. So I felt like today I'd just record some of this without the face cam, but it'll come back in the future. And uh, you'll probably be seeing a double dose of this and not Dirt to Daytona this weekend because I didn't f I didn't think I really felt up to Dirt to Daytona. It's it's uh it's actually much more difficult I find than this game. Just having especially so much editing to do, I have to worry about all of the other series editing most of those races out so that. You know, we get to the stuff people actually want to see, which is pretty much just the truck series at this point. And, uh, so I have to record for, like, a long time sometimes, like over an hour just to get a 20-minute episode or something. But yeah, I figured I'd just crank out a couple of easy NASCAR 06 episodes for you guys this weekend, and then next weekend... Or today, Tone will probably be back, so yeah.
So these guys are all up over me right now. We're getting close to pit stops, but uh, I got loose, scuffed the wall a bit. These guys are right on top of me. I managed to get Martin to check up when he ran right up on me like that, but it allowed these guys to just rush in. Yeah, pe people have started to pit here and there. Uh, oh my gosh, I'm starting to get loose. Might want to put another half round up on the wedge, I don't know. Just having Yaley right up underneath me isn't helping. But, uh, yeah, as usual, we'll be waiting past halfway before we pit because... It's the safest thing to do as far as fuel mileage goes. We're still pretty fast though. I'm happy with the car on the whole. It's just a little... A little, little more loose than I thought it was. I made a small adjustment before we raced. But... Not quite enough, I don't think have to be real careful, especially you got to be careful with clipping the apron and stuff. That's very dangerous. <laughs> um, but yeah. Oh yeah, I did. Uh, I did want to make note of the fact that uh, this weekend, my favorite driver is going to be back behind the wheel, Tony Stewart. Super excited. I hope he has a really good race. Um, they granted him the waiver so that he'll be able to try to get into the chase. A win isn't going to quite be enough. He's going to have to get in the top 30 in points as well. So conceivably, he would have to run very, very well for the rest of the season. But, I mean, he's capable of it. He's one of the greatest of all time. So it be awesome to see him make the chase in his last season. But regardless, I just want to see him at least win a couple races because... That'll be cool. Um, it is going to be weird for him to not be in those in the races next year, though. It's just hard to wrap my head around. I became an NASCAR fan because I started following Cody Stewart. You know, it's just like I jumped into NASCAR and was like, "All right, I'm going to root for this guy," <laughs> and uh, it was a good decision. It was a good decision. Because Tony definitely has put on a show these last, gosh, what is it, 14, 15 years that I've been watching. So, that's 15 years. Um, I definitely haven't regretted that choice. Okay, we are, whoa, oh god. We are past halfway now. We haven't hit the, uh orange fuel light yet though so I'm gonna take it one more I think although the way the car is handling I should probably go in pretty soon really doing myself a lot of favors here but still no orange fuel light huh well hmm I don't know then Tell me, what should I do? <laughs> if y'all go one more. I mean, my tires haven't even started to wear yet, so. Okay, there's the orange fuel light. Tires are hanging in there really well. It kind of makes me wonder if I should go two tires, but I'm not going to. I feel like that's too dangerous. Okay, I think I may have gone a bit too slow there, but... Alright. Let's hope that a caution doesn't come out and smurf us over here.
Not a bad pit stop, 15-5. Okay, we just went a lap down because those guys did not pit. But as long as the caution doesn't come out, we should be fine. I hope. <laughs> I hope. I guess not a lot of people. Oh, okay, it looks like a bunch are hitting pit road now. I was going to say, not very many people had pitted. But still, a bunch stayed out of there. See where we cycle through. Okay, there's Yaley. Important that we get ahead of him, but he did, he did get out in front of us. Our entry was a little slow, though I figured, so I'm not too surprised. But I think we can get past him, and there. Now, leader still hasn't pitted. Really don't want a caution to come out. Okay. Get us our lap back. Yes. Alright, we're gravy then. Come out ahead of everybody else. Kyle Bush. We just have to get smoothly around here and pass the rest of these guys. Beat these guys off pit road. Not off pit road. We gotta beat the guys coming off of pit road. But it looks like we got that done easily. Alright. We're back out in the front. And honestly, with a much bigger lead, so. Yeah. That worked to our advantage pretty well. Now all we gotta do is just keep it smooth, check out, gotta win this race. Oh my gosh. That was really, really dumb. Flip the apron. Oh man. Did the caution come out and keep me in the lead? It did. Okay. We just have to fight these guys off for the restart. That's all. Hang man. It's really annoying though. <laughs> really, really annoying. I. I was just trying to run nice, smooth, fast laps, and I clipped the apron, and around she went. Well, I clipped the apron, and it just like kind of like sucked me down there. Once I was fully on it, then I wow, he uh, he just loosened me up. I feel it's almost like he used the intimidator on me or something. It's for you, dude. Freaking cup driver, get out of my series. <laughs> gonna be tough if I get loose again down here I'm gonna be in big trouble actually that time I pushed eh. ah. cool we made contact there okay he's gonna have one last run on me up here if I push too far again or get loose, he's going to be up under me coming to the line, but... 
try not to let that happen. Uh, okay, we did it. Had to be aggressive, but we got it done. Whew. Win number 12, nice. The old home track here. <laughs> oh man, that was pretty exciting actually. Alright. Get Aaron with a fourth place finish. We let 41 laps, that makes me happy. Ooh, man. Crazy. Alright, let's look at the standings. 219. Wait. How the frick did Boyer fan? Did I mess him up that much at the start? Did he just lose all his mojo and end up in the back? Just because I bumped him out a little bit at the beginning? Huh, that's weird. But we gained like 80 points or 70 points? I can't remember. Hmm. 219. That's it's fully in second place, although only by 13 points. I'm going to be careful there, but... Yeah. Wait, we... St Wait, where's the truck? We have a 138 point lead, so Cleaver did not do well in the race that I skipped. That's good to know. We still have a 138 point lead, and we won't have to miss anymore. Pretty sure. Let's see, next we got that. Yeah, we don't have to miss any more truck races. So, as far as I'm concerned, we have got the Truck Series Championship in the bag, unless we just completely blow it. How many? We have four nationwide races left. 219 points down. If we gained 80 points that time... If we did that every time, we'd definitely do it, but I would have to rough Boyer up, I guess, every time. I don't... I don't know. Unless he just had some misfortune, like the last time when he was caught up in whatever that skirmish was. I don't know. It's tempting to be like, oh, I'm going to be the dirty guy, and I'm going to sick my teammates on him and stuff, but do I really want to do that? I mean, here's the thing. If I do that, it's kind of crappy, right? But we deserve this title. This whole contract glitch thing that made us miss races and fall behind. I mean, we've won 12 races this year in a variety of cars. <laughs> ah. And then on the other side of that, if I do win it this time, then that means we could move on to Cup starting with the next season. Whereas if I don't, we have to go through an entire year more of just these these series. With no cup. I don't know, guys. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you enjoyed, hammer that like button. Share with your friends. Subscribe if you're new to join the Wolfpack. And I will see you next time for more. Bye.